Hello everyone, my name's Randy, and if it's not obvious yet, it's going to be very soon. This is my first ever YouTube video, so please bear with me. It's probably going to be a little rough. The purpose in today's video is to show you how I make a few dollars here and there selling my coupon stop pile. Um, I've stopped and restarted this video so many times, it's ridiculous. I'm running out of time before my son comes home and my daughter wakes up. So I'm going to just jump right in. I'll do my introductions to you in another video. Um... Let me just say first, on this trip, first of all, let me back up. I'm sorry. You're going to hear me mention different rebate apps, um, store rewards and things like that that you may or may not be familiar with. I'm not going to get much into to that today, but I will post videos in the future explaining those. Today, my purpose is just to show you how much, how much I pay and how much I make on selling my coupon items. So today I started out with $60 in cash. I had $10 in Shopkick rewards to spend at Walmart, $10 in Fetch rewards to spend at CVS. I have my notes here, so I'm going to be looking down a lot. Okay, so my first stop was at Walmart. The first thing I picked up was two bags of Tide Pods. Right now there is a $3 rebate on Ibotta with a limit of two, which is why I bought two. I had a $2 manufacturer coupon that I got from the December PNG. I also picked up the Dove Men Care three bar soap for $3.47. There was $1.50 I bought a rebate for that. I got the Men's Big Flex 5 Hybrid for $5.97. There was a $3 checkout 51 rebate for that. This item I probably would have picked up, but it's tracking for I think 3,000 points with Fetch Rewards right now. So I went ahead and got one bottle of Suave Shampoo and one bottle of Suave Conditioner for $2.97 each. I had a $3 off two manufacturer coupon. And that was it for Walmart. When I give you these totals, the total for the items is going to be before tax, but what I actually spent is going to be after tax because taxes are different in every state, but I still want you to get a true picture of, of, of what you stand to make doing this. So my total was $25.26. My total after coupons was $20.26. My total after rebates came to $10.76. I paid $10 with Shopkick points, and after taxes, I paid $1.76 out of pocket, which came to about $0.35 cent an item. My next stop was at Walgreens, my first purchase there. I started out with 18,000 points there. Every 1,000 points is a dollar that you can spend in the store. So the first item I picked up was two Colgate Optic White toothpaste. They're $2.99 a piece. You buy two, you get a $5 register reward. So I bought two. They came to $5.98. I had two 50-cent manufacturer coupons from this week's Smart Source, I believe it was. I paid $4.98 before tax. I used 5,000 points, so my total came to 40 cent after tax for that. My next purchase was Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I picked up two of these. They are on sale this week, $2.99. Buy two, get a $4 register reward. In the December P&G, there are $2 manufacturer coupons. You can actually use two of those. So I bought two of these for $5.98. I used two $2 manufacturer coupons which brought my total to $1.98 before tax. I used 2,000 points, so I paid $0.40 cent out of pocket and got back a $4 register reward. My next purchase was two bottles, or a, a bottle of shampoo and conditioner, the Herbal Essence Bio Renew, and a Head and Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner. These are both on sale this week for $5.99 each. You buy two, you get a $5 register reward. There's also a $5 off a two manufacturer coupon for each of these in the December P&G. So my total came to $23.96. I had $10 in manufacturer coupons, which brought my total to $13.96. I used 10,000 points to pay, and I paid $3.96 out of pocket after tax. My next reward, at this point I've got $19 in register rewards and 1,000 points still to spend. So, my next transaction at Walgreens was a Tide Pod, a Tide Liquid, and six boxes of the NICE brand, the Walmart, or Walgreens brand, 
freezer bags, which I'm going to keep for personal use. And these, I'm sorry, these were on sale, $2.97. You buy one, get two free, so I always stock up when they do that. Then I got the nice brand aluminum foil for 99 cent with an in-ad coupon. All of that I'm going to be keeping for myself. The Tide liquid and Tide pods were each $4.94 a piece. I had $2 manufacturer coupons for that. So my total came to $16.91. I used $4 in manufacturer coupons, which brought it to $12.91 plus tax. I used $14 in register rewards to pay. I ended up leaving the store with $5 in register rewards to spend later, plus still had 1,000 points left. I bought a total of 17 items, and I paid $4.76 out of pocket, or $0.28 cent each. So then we went to CVS. My first transaction at CVS was... Two bottles of Dial Body Wash, a Crest 3D White, sorry, Crest 3D White Mouthwash, and a Colgate Optic White. The Dial Body Wash was on sale, two for eight dollars. I had two three dollar CRTs and a two dollar off of eight body wash CRT for this, so that turned into a great deal. The 3D White Mouthwash was four ninety nine. You buy one, get a two dollar extra buck. Um, if you have the $3 tooth whitening CRT, it does work for this, so I used that and had a dollar off manufacturer coupon. And you do get the $2 extra butt back with that. Then I got the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste, which was $3.50 on sale. We got a $3 instant coupon at the Red Box this week. I also had a $0.50 cent manufacturer coupon from this week's Smart Source, Free Tell Me Not, whatever it was. I paid $1.74 out of pocket for this entire purchase using that Fetch Rewards gift card I told you about earlier, and I got a $2 extra buck to spend on another purchase. My next purchase was, excuse me while I've been down to get it, three bottles of Pantene that were three for $12. Then I got a head and shoulders shampoo and conditioner two for twelve dollars and an herbal essence bio renew okay shampoo two for twelve dollars i had a five dollar manufacturer coupon for three pantene a five dollar manufacturer coupon for the head and shoulders a five dollar manufacturer coupon for the herbal essences bio renew and a four off 18 shampoo and conditioner CRT. My total came to $36. I used $19 in manufacturer coupons and CRTs, which brought my total to $17. I paid with $2 in extra bucks. I used $8.26 from my Fetch Rewards card, and there was another unknown CRT that popped up in that. I ended up paying $3.63 out of cash for all of that. And my little girl just woke up. I'll be right there, baby. My next purchase was two bottles of Suave, a shampoo and a conditioner. On sale, two for $6. You buy two, you get a $4 extra buck. I had a $3 off two manufacturer coupon from a week or two ago. So I used my $3 coupon. These came went from $6 to $3. I paid, I did this backwards, I paid $3.39 with a cash card that I got on actually the next purchase I'm going to show you, and I got back a $4 extra buck reward. So now let me tell you about the cash card. I'll be right there, honey. Okay, so the cash card deal spend $30 on certain items, and you get a $10 cash card, which you can spend on anything at CVS. I'm sorry, I'm getting in a little rush here. So, I bought a Tide Liquid for $5.94, a Tide Pod for $4.94, an Herbal Essences Bio Renew Shampoo and Conditioner for $12, and the Head and Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner for $12. That brought my total to $34.88, which gets me the $10 cash card. I had a $2 off manufacturer coupon for the Tide Liquid, a $2 manufacturer coupon for the Tide Pods, 
$5 off two for the herbal essences, $5 off two for the head and shoulders. I also had a two off of six head and shoulders CRT and a two off of six herbal essences CRT. So that came to $18 in coupons and CRTs, bringing my total to $16.88. I had a $3 extra buck on the card, so I used that to pay, which brought my total down to $13.88. And once again, some unknown CRT popped up that we couldn't figure out. I ended up paying $11.07 out of pocket for all of those items and got the $10 cash card. Okay, next I got four bottles of Suave Shampoo. Remember, they're two for $6 each with a $4 limit or $4 extra buck. They are a limit one, so I only got one $4 extra buck for this, but I had a CRT that made it worth it to go ahead and get four. So I got four of these for $12. I had two $3 off of two manufacturer coupons, which brought my total down to $6. I also had a $2 off of eight Suave Shampoo and Conditioner or CRT, which brought my total to $4. And I got the $4 extra butt back, making it all entirely free. Wrong. No, back up. It wasn't entirely free. I paid $4.78 with my cash card and got back the $4 extra butt. So it was almost free. Then I got... Two, I'm gonna fall out of my chair. Two Oral-B toothbrushes. They were, uh, other people were saying they're 519, they were 529 at my store. But these are buy one, get a $3 extra buck. Um, I'm not sure what the limit is, but it's at least two. So I bought two of these at $5.29 a piece, which brought my total to $10.58. I had two $1 manufactured coupons from the December P&G. I used those, which brought my total to $8.58. Then I had a two off of 10 Oral-B CRT. I think it was Crest Colgate, something like that, with Oral-B. But I had a two off 10 CRT. I used that. I paid with the $4 extra bucks that I got from the last purchase. And then I paid, I also used $4.85 off that cash card. So I paid nothing out of pocket for those. My next purchase was a Tide Liquid, a Tide Pod, and two Arm & Hammer laundry detergents, which are on sale too for $5 this week. Um, I had a three off 12 laundry CRT, so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and get those and use it, otherwise I wouldn't have bought those. Just a second, honey. The Tide Liquid was $5.94. The Tide Pods $4.94. I had a $2 off manufacturer coupon for each of these. So for the Arm & Hammer and both times, my total came to $15.88. I had $7 in manufacturer coupons and CRTs, which made my total $8.88. I used $6 in extra bucks to pay after taxes. I paid $3.35 in cash. I had $0.37 cent left on my cash card, which I used. Okay, so my next purchase was Pantene and Suave. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay. Once again, three Pantenes. Three for $12. And a bottle of Suave shampoo and conditioner. Two for $6 with a $4 extra buck. So I got the three Pantene's for $12. I had a $5 manufacturer coupon. I got the two Suave's for $6. And I had a $3 manufacturer coupon. I also had a $4 off of 18 hair care CRT. So my total was $18, $12 after manufacturer coupons and CRTs. I used an extra buck to pay and to pay for part of this and ended up paying $2.91 out of pocket after tax. Almost done. Then I had another Tide Liquid and Tide Pods with the Arm & Hammer. The, the same deal I did the last time. Um, I'm not even going to take them out of the bag. Here they are. Two Arm & Hammers, two Tides. Came to $15.88. I used $7 in coupons and CRTs. Paid with a $4 extra buck and $5.72 cash. 
Then I have some Colgate somewhere. I got here it is. Almost done, honey. I got two more Colgate Optic Wipes. These are three fifty each. We did get the three dollar. Remember, we got the three dollar um, instant coupon from the Red Box. I had a CRT I wanted to use up, so I bought two of these for $7. Used two manufacturer coupons, which brought my total to $6. I used that $3 instant coupon, bringing it to $3, and I had $2 off of five Colgate CRT, which brought my total to a dollar. I normally wouldn't pay for toothpaste, but 50 cent a piece isn't bad. I paid $1.46 out of pocket for this. The last thing I got was one more Tide liquid and one more Tide pod. I sell a lot of shampoo and, and laundry detergent, so I always try to get as much of that as I can. The liquid, once again, was $5.94. The pods, $4.94, which came to $10.88. I had $4 of manufactured coupons. I used extra bucks from previous orders to pay and ended up paying $1.46 cash out of pocket after tax. So, my grand total for today's shopping trip for everything was I got 67 items for $44.29, which comes to $0.60 cent an item. Now, this video was a mess. I know my next one's probably going to be two, but I, I will learn. If you're still watching, hey, thank you for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. My next video, I'm going to show you how I separate the stuff out and sell it and, and what I actually make on it. Um... You definitely, if, if you're afraid of Walgreens and CVS, you, you need to learn it. It's not so bad, and it's the only way you're going to get items this cheap, sometimes even cheaper than this. I could have done a lot better if I hadn't gotten so much laundry detergent, but once again, a lot of people like to buy it. So anyway, I hope you tune in for the next video, and bear with me while I learn this YouTube stuff. Thank you for watching.